The American veterans missing in Ukraine, two now believed to be in the custody of Russian forces, the families of the men desperate for any news. The men are among as many as 20,000 foreign volunteers who have traveled to join the fight in Ukraine. Two of them from Alabama, seen together in this image, Alexander Drukey and Andy Huynh. And tonight, the new images from state-controlled media in Russia, showing Andy Huynh, believed to be under duress, delivering a pro-Russian propaganda message. And Alexander Drukey sending a message to his mother back home. And then late today, retired Marine Captain Grady Kurpos has been identified as a third American volunteer now missing in Ukraine. His family hasn't heard from him since April. Tonight, the Kremlin is denying they know anything about these men. President Biden saying he has been briefed, and the president again urging Americans not to go to Ukraine. ABC's James Longman leading us off tonight from eastern Ukraine. Tonight, state-controlled media in Russia has released videos of two Americans taken captive in Ukraine. 27-year-old Andy Huynh of Alabama was recorded here delivering pro-Russian propaganda, presumably coerced into doing so. ABC News will not air the contents of the message. The Russian news outlet RT says the video was recorded yesterday in a detention center in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine. Another video shows 39-year-old Alexander Druki, also from Alabama, delivering a message to his mother. Mom, I just want to let you know that I'm alive and um, I hope to be back home as soon as I can be. The two went missing about a week ago, fighting alongside Ukrainian forces outside Kharkiv in the country's northeast, which is very close to the Russian border. Back home, the families of the men are desperate for any information. It's stressful um, because we don't have answers at the moment. Waiting is always very hard, but we are encouraged. And tonight, a third American is missing in Ukraine. He's identified as retired Marine Captain Grady Kurpas. His family tells ABC News they've not been in contact with him since late April, where he was believed to be in the Kherson region of southern Ukraine. Family spokesman Don Turner served with Kerpas for 12 years in the Marine Corps. Couldn't stress enough the sheer fact that uh, he cared more about others than he did himself. Despite the release of the videos, the Kremlin earlier today denied having any information at all about captured Americans. And today, President Biden said the whereabouts of the men are unknown. I have been brief. We don't know where they are, but I want to reiterate, Americans should not be going to Ukraine. But hundreds already have, according to conservative estimates. Last month, ABC News interviewed soldiers of the Ukrainian Foreign Legion, at least 25 in this unit outside Kharkiv, were American. Really, we just wanted to help the Ukrainian people. We believe that um, their, their fight is a just fight, and we wanted to be here and support them. So let's get right to James Longman with us again tonight from Dnipro in eastern Ukraine. And James, these captured Americans, and of course the question tonight, what if any protections they have, are they considered prisoners of war here? Do we know anything on that front yet? Well, David, the main issue here, David, is that they're being held by Russian-backed separatists in the east rather than by Moscow itself, which gives the Kremlin a certain degree of deniability. They don't regard them as prisoners of war. They regard them as mercenaries. David? A lot more to come on this story, and we're thinking about those families tonight. James Longman leading us off again tonight from Ukraine. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.